Hello everyone, welcome to Happy Unboxing NYC. My name is Alina and today I want to share with you my bargain bid box for December 2022. I'm not gonna do unboxing because basically we received the same box, you already know what we got inside and usually I'm not somebody who received this box first, so I don't think it makes much sense for me to unbox when everybody already got the same thing, right? Uh, but I decided to create this month's interesting video when I will show you, um, first of all, the beads, the material that we got. Then I will show you guys how I work with each necklace and maybe show you some details so you could repeat if you want. It kind of not tutorial, but some, you know, at least more, more interesting ah. elements. Definitely I will show you and we will com come to finished pieces. So, okay, let's get started. This is the elements that we got. And honestly, I'm in love with the color combination because it's so earthy. And I know the team is earth, earthy. What is this? Let me see. What is this theme of this box? It's earthy. Ah, earth and elegance. Yes, absolutely. And it's absolutely what it is. I really like it. But in my opinion, if they would put a little bit of olive green, I would be completely happy with this collection. But still, it's nice and beautiful. And uh, <clears throat> talking about favorite parts, I really, I'm in love with this donut. It's absolutely stunning, gorgeous piece of jasper. And all jasper is actually very good. And red jasper has a lot of good properties. It's, you know, good for grounding your <laughs> chakras and work with your lower chakras if we talk about that. But it's okay, let, let's leave this topic. It's something that I will leave to myself. But of course, I'm gonna create um, jewelry with this red jasper. And uh, talking about the elements, I remember those elements. I remember my very first uh, bargain bid box. I believe it was May 2020. I the first, first time when I ordered the bargain bid box and we got, we got those elements because I was so much impressed with those and I'm so happy it repeated item, but I'm really happy with that. I really, I appreciate that they put it again. I like those bicons. This, the color is stunning and definitely we will make something of them. And my little one is on my hands right now, but it is what it is. This is how, <laughs> excuse us. This is how we work right now. This chandelier is stunning too. Um, these garnets are my favorite because it's my birthstone. I'm January girl, so definitely <laughs> I will use them, but I want more. So for now, I will leave probably this um, piece. We will not create anything in this video at least, but definitely will show you later. Those coins are stunning. Again, beautiful piece, beautiful pieces. How many? We got six of them. Nice. I will try to incorporate this rondelle this month with some project, and I'm in love with those with those cute beads as well. All right, spacers are nice, everything is nice. So, but my question, I don't know how this guy still can make it with a such a low price. This is unbelievable. So um, what I want to do first, first I, <laughs> I want to think which project I've, I'm gonna work with and uh, how to put the things together. And uh, of course I will share with you everything. Okay, guys, after first glance, looking at all these beads, what I'm thinking to do, I definitely will start to work with the um, donut. I'm gonna bead around the, this donut, make a beautiful pendant, and then I'm planning to hang this chandelier to make, you know, like a um, really statement piece. And then, of course, I'm gonna use this red jasper, different sizes to make a necklace and maybe incorporate some chain. So things like that. This beautiful uh, beads definitely will be my bracelet. And maybe I will make these rondelles with this uh, Jasper together in a bracelet. I will see, just as I said, it's just the first idea. I'm planning to make earrings with those. So hanging earrings with the hanging chandeliers that will be matching piece. And coins, honestly, I want to make a very, very simple project with a coin and a chain and probably match earrings and bracelets. So we'll see. This I will leave for now. And I will start to work with this um, central element because I want to create the pendant. And then after the pendant will be ready, we will work with the necklace. Guys, I started to work with my donut bead 
and uh, I'm gonna do a bead weaving around. So I'm gonna use my Delicas and uh, Del Delica in a bronze tone, 11O and 11O seed beads. And um, I usually use the same technique, so I'm gonna definitely show you right now. But no matter what I, uh, what I, what uh, beading basil I'm making, I always do the same thing. But let me show you how I'm doing that. It I just put on the um, on the uh, thread seed beads, alternating with the delica. I'm sorry, my daughter helping me, and it's a one one delica and two seed beads one delica two seed beads in this pattern until we completely uh cover the donut i covered my uh donut now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna skip delicas and work only with uh, 11 o seed beads and i will show you in the end of the row so i'm coming to the end of my second row so i just wanted to show for uh for you if you're not familiar with uh, my uh bead weaving actually i'm gonna link some tutorials in past i did uh, some of them so in my second row basically i i walk my thread between delicas so i just take two 15 o's and uh, basically what i do i'm gonna lead them between delica and delica and I, I will go from here this is my thread right now i'm just i'm holding the phone with my hand so it's not easy for me and uh, i will walk my needle through that and this is basically how i basil the um the first two rows so this is my needle between two delicas and this is how i'm gonna finish my row that's what we have now actually i really like this color combination i really think that um it's very very yeah <laughs> Okay, my love, <laughs> put it back. I apologize for that, she really wants to help me. <laughs> All right, and um, now I will continue play with the basil to make it beautiful and uh, let me see which color I want for, for my third row. I'm still uh, working with my donuts, so I um, wanted to tell you that I'm already done with my third row. And for third row, I just, pick the delica but if you see this middle delica is on the matte side so side delicas are on more shiny side but it's still dark bronze color and um, if you decide to do the same thing i wanted to tell you for your donut to be completely covered and hugged nicely you need 25 delicas and two seed beads in between so one delica to two seed beads in between and you have to repeat it 25 times to make it nice and neat okay guys and i'm still working with my um donut so basically i just kept uh adding beads every row and i just playing with the um, bronze tone and this uh, beautiful brown tone and i'm finishing basically my face part so what i try to do i use in my last row 15 o's so let me just show show it more uh, i'm sorry i'm just recording ah everywhere <laughs> because you know unfortunately i don't have a particular times when i'm doing my jewelry so when i have a three minutes i'm just doing it okay so in this last row i used 15 o seed beads and now i take three of 15 o and i'm going every other bead let's say between this 15 and this 15 i use this three 15 o's now i'm skipping this uh, interval but i'm going to put my three 15s between these two uh 15s it will make sense and now again i'm skipping these two uh beads and i'm gonna go between these and these so i finished to work with my pendant and this is what i got so a little bit of seed bead weaving and i put this coin on the bottom and this is how it looks from the back side and this is how from the front side and i decided to go on and make the matching earrings so i created one earrings 
one earring so basically i took the 10 millimeter um jasper bead and just again made a little bit of bead weaving so they're gonna match and i'm gonna make tutorial with my second earring so i will pause this tutorial for you for those who will want to repeat it and now i will play around with my beads and do the necklace so i finished to work on my necklace and this is how it look you're gonna see it in the light box to see it to see it better but just wanted to tell you that um i basalt my ring uh and my donut sorry they almost the same technique i mean it is the same technique like my earrings and i i will uh post tutorials for the earrings so you will understand what i'm talking about the same way the only difference i, I will i wanted to play a little bit with my 15 o's but for those who can do bead weaving you will you will easily understand it so this is how my pendant look like from the front side from the back side it's just simple like that without 15 o's and um i just use my jump ring to attach my uh my pendant to my necklace for my necklace i use it all the beads that we got in the bargain bead box it's actually an amazing collection of a red jasper and uh, uh bigger beads and this uh uh, this type of beads, I'm horrible with the names. I put in the front and um, I use the spacers that we got in a bargain bead box as well as uh, uh, some beads from my stash and they're in a bronze tone. As you can see, in my opinion, they just go very well together with this uh, pendant. So this is how my necklace look like. And so I started with the bigger beads uh, and I ended up just with the smaller version. I believe it's six millimeter, six. Yeah, I think so. And I just put 11 O seed beads uh, in between. And this is the toggle clasp that I used. I, this what we got in our bargain bead box. I actually wanted to tell you something before I close it. So I used two creams. I used one cream uh, before my last bead and um, cream after my last bit that's why i wanted to show you before i close it with the cream cover just you know to protect this necklace because it's kind of heavy too many beads too many you know gemstones it made this um necklace a little bit on the heavy side so just to secure it just let you know and again i'm gonna show it in the light box and then we will see all together uh, on me and actually just forgot to tell you that this is the earrings that uh, I created just they are matching perfectly to this uh, to this uh, uh, necklace because again the same pattern here and there and the same uh, jaspers and the same coins actually I I love this uh, this charm so much so everything in the bronze tone i mean in a cooper tone but this is the thing you know cooper and bronze they kind of go well together in my opinion anyway i did it and i like it and uh, for this earrings as i said i am gonna post the tutorial so you will understand how i did it and it probably will help to somebody with the donut um all right so let me just show you everything in the in the light box Okay, guys, I was playing around a little bit here and there, and I created another pair of earrings, which uh, will go so well together with our um, necklace and with, I don't know, it just, I really love those elements. They're so neat, so nice, and they go so well together with the red jasper. I really love those, and... Uh, it's just very simple to make. I'm not going to post a tutorial of that because basically what I did, I just put my Jasper, put a bit cup, put uh, everything on a hat pin, and uh, I just was going to every other hole. So first, third, and sixth. And uh, for the closure, I use my jump ring, and uh, I put jump ring and actually two jump rings with different sizes this is bigger but this is smaller and i attach everything to my lever bags and this is how my earrings look like you're gonna see them better and you also gonna see them on me well now i'm gonna play around with all those things that i have since from the bargain bit box and i want to create bracelet or bracelets so let's see where my imagination will lead me okay guys so i finished my bracelets and this is what I made. It's just a simple uh, bracelet on a string, just jaspers with the spacers using the content of the bargain bit box. This is so easy, so simple, but so gorgeous. 
I, I sincerely love this bracelet. And you definitely can pair it with another one, with this. This is more fancy, of course, I use the charms that we use, that we received in the bargain bin box, as well as spacer, as well as bead cups. And th uh, here, beads, um, uh, I mean, Jasper beads of uh, two sizes, bigger and smaller, as you can see. And as a closure, I use the toggle clasp that we got, and I put a little bit dangling bead on the uh, bottom and this is how they look like they can be worn together or separately and uh, i will definitely show them uh to you in the light box and then you will see everything on me the whole set Guys, let's make a recap. So this is how the earrings and uh, necklace look like on me. And um, honestly, I like it. I like that it's statement piece, but I really like this earthy tones of the, um, of the jewelry. <laughs> and in my opinion, it's kind of not too big, not too small. So what do you think? I think it's really very, very interesting design and very, very interesting. Um, um material combination so happy with that and uh just th so this is how it look like with the bracelet it's interesting actually when these two bracelets took together because this is the dangling stuff and this is just but definitely we can wear them separately let's just try if i take off the it's still nice it's a little bit less of <laughs> but you know still there in my opinion they are beautiful together or separately and let's just try second pair of earrings and this is how a second pair of earrings look like honestly i don't know i like this i'm not better they're definitely different but you know i like statement pieces so probably um for this reason i like it better but still they're too gorgeous together and you know no honestly i like them both because they are different yeah so yeah <laughs> anyway so this is how the second pair of earrings look like one more time and again this is all together i don't know in my opinion this is the beauty of bargain bit box when we can make a jewelry and we can max uh, mix and match and it's kind of fun to wear the whole month you know different um combinations of the same jewelry in my opinion it's 
it's just fun or whatever but anyway um i'm not gonna wear these pieces honestly i i will put them for sale because i have so many jewelries and honestly <laughs> it's too much so that's why they i will keep them new i just wanted to demonstrate them but definitely i'm not gonna wear them and it was all items from the bargain bit box that i created this month maybe not too much but every time i create something from any box i try to think about would i wear it or no and uh, it's not about quantity it's about um quality i would say if, it, if you can say that so what i try to say i would create as many jewelries as you know they are variable in my opinion if it makes sense so with this box this is what all i created for now maybe something will be made later but uh, definitely i'm happy with those beads that i received and uh, whatever i didn't use for now i definitely will put to my stash and sometimes you know uh, uh things just come together if, with the different boxes which is absolutely fine in my opinion but uh, from this month that was all i created and let me know what you think about it and also please comment me do you like when we do the when i create video like this when i start the process my first thoughts that how i was created or it's too much for you just let me know i really it's interesting for, to me because i tried first months and thank you for watching me if you like my video please give me a thumbs up consider to subscribe to my channel if you still didn't do it and see you shortly in my next video Bye-bye.